Hi, my name is Tal, a sales application engineer at Munters. In this video, we'll be learning how to set up the network for a super guard, and also how to set up the sensors in the pig guard. So let's get started. You've added some pig guards to the network. Now what do you do? While the controller is on main screen, press room and then zero. This takes you to the setup menu. Here you can set up the number of pig guards that are connected to this super guard unit. When we first install a pig guard, we must define which temperature sensors are connected to it and also if they are inside or outside the house. For that we need to scroll to installation and then select sensor layout. Sensors 1, 2 and 3 can only be defined as inside and sensor 3 can be defined as inside or outside. The sensors that are defined in are the ones that will build the house temperature average. But what if we want to assign a specific sensor to a device, for example a heater? For that, we will go to installation again and select sensor definition. In this menu, the first line will be the temperature average and the other lines will open according to the devices that we installed. For example, heaters 1 and 2. If you want to create a heat zone and only activate heater 1 by sensor number 1, you will mark sensor 1 on heater 1, like so. A device that remains empty will work according to the house average. There are two kinds of temperature sensor alarms, other than high and low temperature, which are sensor failure and sensor definition error. Sensor error alarm will pop up if a sensor was defined in the sensor layout menu but was not actually connected to the controller. Sensor definition error alarm will pop up if a sensor is marked but was not actually defined in the sensor layout. For example, sensor layout menu shows temperatures 1 and 2 and sensor definition menu is also marked with temperature sensor 3. Thank you for watching and we hope you tune in for more videos.